Mr. Kesh, I wanted to thank you so much for your technology. Um, I'm new to to this this Kesh technology, this plasma technology, and I've been using Himalayan uh, Gans water on the arthritis in my legs, and it's working out just beautifully. And I wanted to thank you for that. You're welcome. It's the knowledge which comes from across the Cash Foundation. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. It relieves pain and it loosens my knees. Have you become mobile? Um, it wasn't a severe case. I was still walking, but uh, I was becoming hobbled, uh, if you know what I mean, kind of hobbled yeah. up, taking little steps. And it allowed me to take full steps again. Um, how, what is your condition? How deep is that? Um, well, uh, it's a stiffness and an achiness. Uh, Just in one joint or many joints? Uh, in my knees. Both of them? Yes. More um, so, more so in the right leg than the left leg. Do you have any problem with the hip? Has it moved up, or is it just localized in those two? Just localized in in the knees. In the knees. A little bit in one the of, ankle. <clears throat> one of the ways you can speed up the process is uh, when you get this condition: is you attract too much calcium towards the joint. What it means is, in a way, that the skin or the length of the lower leg and uh, your femur is not creating the right vibration for absorption of the calcium to go through the bone structure. The, the field of the calcium is absorbed from the lymph, but the penetration it becomes too big to go through the lymph but it's still in a calcium state, and in a way it splits up towards the joint. One of the things you can do, now that you are relieved of the pain, when you're sitting down, or when you're walking, try to walk on your heel to toe. It's very important. Yeah. You know, when you're, when you're standing up, I've taught this a couple of years ago, it's, gone, it's on the record somewhere. Try to tap your heel. Try to put your heel down first heavily and go to your tip. Next step, the other heel the same. You have to change the vibration of the internal structure of the bone that takes the calcium into the bone and becomes part of your um, bone marrow. The calcium which you get with the arthritis and these kind of things is the calcium which is transferred from the bone, uh, from literally the lymph to the bone, but is not in the strength or the size to be able to penetrate through the bone to become part of your bone marrow. So it literally slips up and it gathers in the, in the, in the joint area and then it creates what we call arthritis. If you have uh, uh, reduced your pain, you haven't sorted out the problem fully. You have to sort the problem now, you have more uh, freedom to walk. You can help yourself and retune the bones. So when you walk, try to put your heel, like you know, you tap dance with the tip of your toes, yeah. the tap dancing, you do the same tap dancing with the heel. This sends a vibration into the bone which readjusts the, the frequency of the vibration of the bone structure to not to produce bigger size uh, lymph, uh, what you call uh, plasmas, to the size which it needs. And then once the, you go through the process, whatever is calcium or the effects of the calcium fields on your joints, will be dissolved in the body gradually, you get rid of it, now you don't produce extra ones to become the creator of the future problems. So, it is important, it, when you get arthritis like this, is the 
retuning the bone structure which is needed. Because in your, I draw it on the picture, I've done this before, you understand it easier maybe, is, um, your bone structure is like a, is like a, what I call a guitar string. And the vibration which these produce creates a plasmatic gravitational field which attracts the lymph into the bone. If one of these is out of tune, it's like a piano. It creates a different size. When it comes to the bone, it cannot go, so it slips up to the centers, which at the end is your joint, your knee. So in relieving the pain, you haven't solved the problem because these, these uh, strings are still out of tune. So by literally you tune, you know, your piano tuner comes and plays the string till it gets it, it tunes it. The, the, the vibration from the bone, uh, it creates to adjust these. The older we get, the more these things become a bit clocked up with others. In a way, when you tap, you shrug up any clockings and they open, they start working and they absorb the right, uh, what do you call it, plasma to become the calcium into the bone marrow. So now you got rid of the pain, you can walk, but you haven't solved the problem. Try to tap by, by your heels. When okay. you walk, try to walk from heel to toe and try to make it solid, not just walking soft. You'll find out with this process, you create a much stronger amino acid for the, uh, what do you call your immune system. Your health gets better because now you go back to like when you were 20, 30 years old. Yes. Uh, you have to follow the process fully and then you guarantee a total reduction and you, you'll find out you don't catch a lot of cold, you don't catch a lot of diseases like when you were young. It's just that you now retune it. The older we get, the less walk we do, and the less walk we do, it changes these, what I call tunes, uh, string of the bone, and then it, one leads to another. And that's why the athletes stay healthy, because they run. That's why one of the best examples of these are boxers. They always jump and they go back on their heels they always fall back on the hills to defend yeah. themselves. That falling back creates a lot of clearance in the muscle. It's not the way they, dump, uh, they jump on their toes when they practice. This moving backwards the hills gives you that strength. You see this with the high jumpers. If you look at the high jumpers or if you look at the uh, long jumpers, they always go back in their hill and they always, if you and I jump that distance, we break our bones most probably. But in going back and they go forth, they go back and forth, they strengthen the these, um, what I call the strings in the bone, and it creates much more stronger solid bone and a better um, structure for, I mean, what they call it, the immune system. Huh. Interesting. It's all connected to each other. And then you find out when you look at all the D cells and you look at all the B cells, you can all the T cells in the body, which is the main structure of the amino acid of the body of the man. They all have a common denominator calcium as, as the cornerstone of their structure. When you don't absorb the right calcium to become part of your bone marrow structure, you lose some of the strength of it. And because you are lower in the strength of the immune system, you become vulnerable to cold, you become vulnerable to other diseases. Uh, it's important for people past age of 45, 50, to be able, even if you can't do anything, you're sitting at the desk, you can strengthen the lower, but when walking, walking hill to toe, you strengthen, you literally clean up any dirt between the strings, if you call it, if you say it that way. So uh, it's better, so it's better, sorry. So it's better to uh, to do more walking even. Yes, but the walking not uh, to walk between the, when you put your heel down, try to put, especially at the beginning, you tap your heel and you go forward to the toe. 
It's important you walk back to the front and with the tapping. It's just literally, you know, when you want to clean the carpet, you shake it, the dust comes out. You do the same thing between the strings in your bone. When you tap, you create a vibration in the bone that literally gets rid of anything which is clocked up. And that has tuned, the, for example, uh, a C to a D. Now you want to have a C only because well, how it, your body needs it most. Now you get rid of the D, you know, you, you, you tune, you change the tune. And you yeah. only do it with walking. Heel Heel to toe. Toe. Pardon? Heel to toe. Heel to toe. But when you put your heel down, you tap your, you know, you have to put it down with a force. You just create a shake and you'll find out you become very healthy. But don't do it so hard that you can damage the knee and the ankle. You understand? I follow you. Just, just enough that you when you're sitting down doing nothing, instead of tapping your toe like a musician, try to tap your heel. You'll find out you you help your own health. It's part of the structure uh, you need to do. Uh, I, I'm in near my sixties and I tend not to walk much, but whenever I'm aware of unknowingly, I deliberately walk from the hill because it allows you to receive. The you clean up the system more or less. Well, yeah, you. you a lot of it, but um, you you increase your immune system, and that immune system being a strength and reduces possibility of cancer and other things in the body is one reason. Walking in man's life is the cornerstone of his health, because most of your bone marrow creates most of your immune system in your femur. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you recover fully. Thank you, thank you.